Ski Resort, if you don't know, by the way, that is South Lake Tahoe, uh, where they picked up a foot, so a decent bit of snow. Here at home, uh, Timberline and Meadows both picked up seven. Looks like Ski Bowl picked up four or five inches, so not a, not a ton. And then out through the gorge, Skamania, Hood River, we've got uniform reports of about three inches of snow that fell yesterday. You get up into southwest Washington, it was generally a, a light dusting to about a half of an inch. This is where most of the reports are coming in uh, at the lower elevations from Clark up into Cowlitz County. Wood Village out on the east side, an inch of snow. Mount Tabor, I'm not sure of the elevation of the report, was an inch of snow uh, as well. And it was three inches of snow out in Pendleton. So uh, anywhere from a, a dusting to an inch was certainly the average across the flats of the valley. Behind me, we have a dry day. Uh, I want to show you the, the storm system that brought us the snow yesterday is now producing rain and snow in the upper elevations of uh, Northern California. You can see that system spinning down there. Radar showing some fizzling out traces of moisture in our region, but basically we go on to be dry. We do expect to see some clearing. Uh, it's tough to tell the see the ODOT cameras, of course, in the darkness of the night, but this is 84 Multnomah Falls parking area out in the gorge, and that is still absolutely Absolute snow covered. This is Cascade Locks. Looks like there's at least some snow and ice ruts on the roadway. So just a reminder, slow traveling today, at least this morning, out through the gorge. This is a Sunset Highway. That's snow and ice on the road uh, at 1,400 feet going over Highway 26. You get below 1,000 feet, and most of the Coast Range cameras look to be pretty good. Here's Government Camp, 26 degrees. Uh, that looks pretty well plowed there. You see more of a snow cover and a brighter uh, light on the pass at Santee M. Anyway, I'm sure you realize that you get up in elevation, especially this morning. You'll be need to be prepared for snow and ice on roadways. OK, I mentioned we're going to be dry. Here's eight o'clock this morning. I think we'll become partly cloudy during the day. And then basically we have a, a this does show some traces of moisture, but I can't really figure out a reason for that. So I don't have it in my forecast. We're going to be mainly dry today, tomorrow and Wednesday. The next storm system comes into town Thursday morning. Here are the early morning numbers. This is the big story right now. Twenty nine in Gresham. Uh, Salem McNary 34, 31 in Aurora. Icy spots with moisture still on the ground. Be alert for icy spots on roadways. It could catch you off guard this morning. Here are the other numbers. 32 up in Kelso, 29 degrees out in the Dalles. And our forecast uh, for Portland, 46 today would melt all the snow away here in the heart of the metro area. And there's the dry weather the next couple days. Rain returns first thing Thursday morning. That kicks off a number of rainy systems, we think, through the upcoming weekend. We're happy you're up with us. We'll be back in just a moment.